Hyundai nailed many aspects of the current generation Tucson compact SUV, but a few key shortcomings prevent it from ranking higher, currently 8th out of 14 in our list. Its roomy interior and solid features per dollar value have been widely praised, while its exterior design is bolder than most in its class. However, we felt that the user interface and driving dynamics needed improvement. For 2025, Hyundai's refreshed Tucson aims to address some of these issues. Along with minor exterior updates, the SUV gets a redesigned dashboard and center console, plus several new tech features, some of which are now standard. The Tucson is critical for Hyundai, not just because it's the brand's top seller, but also because it competes head-to-head -head with Honda and Toyota. During the media event for the new Ioniq 5 electric crossover, Hyundai also showcased the updated 2025 Tucson, Tucson Hybrid, and Tucson Plug-in Hybrid, giving us a chance to test all three. Kona-inspired interior. If the updates to the front cabin seem familiar, it's because the Tucson's interior now mirrors that of the 2024 Kona, which itself shares design cues with the Ionic 5. The most noticeable changes are the new steering wheel and the expansive screen housing. A standout feature is the new standard curved display with a 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen. This is a major upgrade over the previous 8.0-inch and optional 10.3-inch screens. The improved operating system delivers faster and smoother performance, which we experience firsthand without any issues. The driver display options include a 12.3-inch screen with a standard setup featuring a speedometer and decometer with a 4.2-inch multi-information display. The upgraded screen is noticeably larger than the previous two songs, and we found it just as vibrant and engaging as the infotainment system. With the new, higher-mounted displays, the front air vents have been moved lower, now positioned beneath the screens. The Tucson's unique four-spoke steering wheel has been swapped for a more traditional three-spoke design, similar to those found in smaller Hyundai models. Haptic feedback for driver assist systems remains a feature on the new steering wheel. A new addition is the front passenger's dedicated shelf in the dash, offering ample space for multiple phones. The changes to the dash design also extend to the inner doors, which no longer feature the horizontal accent line that once ran along the top. Center console redesign. While the new dash layout is a welcome improvement, many Tucson buyers will likely appreciate the redesigned center console even more, especially in models with shift-by-wire transmissions like the hybrids and plug-in hybrids. These versions now sport a sleek, two-tier console with a repositioned wireless phone charger, cup holders, additional controls, and some covered storage on top, with extra space below. Previously, the Tucson's shift-by-wire models had buttons on the center console to select gears, a design we weren't particularly fond of. For 2025, Hyundai replaces this with a steering column shifter, which frees up more space in the front row. Non-shift-by-wire models like the gas-powered Tucson XRT retain a similar console layout as before but switch the shift buttons for a traditional gear lever. The HVAC touch controls and small display that used to sit under the central touchscreen have been swapped for a design without the digital display. New knobs replace capacitive buttons for raising or lowering interior temps, as well as adjusting the stereo's volume and station tuning. This panel also features more precise temperature control for the steering wheel and rear heated seats. All of this is good news, as these were pain points before. New standard technology on all trims includes push-button start, over-the-air updates, and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Hyundai also says the front USB-C ports are improved. The available 12.0-inch color head-up display we saw operated well even in bright sunlight and soon users will be able to pay for an array of services through the Tucson's Hyundai Pay app. For now, paying for parking is all that's available. Hybrid and PHEV drivability upgrade. We've already had a good look at the 2025 Tucson and its more aggressively furrowed face. Employing a kinetic dynamism theme, designers went with fewer but bigger and wider headlight sheets. The front intakes and daytime running lights are more defined and the entire front bumper has been restyled to look thicker and better complement the new grille. There are no big powertrain changes for the Tucson Refresh, but there are some small ones. Improved electric motors in the hybrid and plug-in hybrid 
means small gains in horsepower. The 2025 Tucson Hybrid now makes 231 horsepower, an increase of 5, while the 2025 PHEV makes 268 horsepower, 7 more than before. Torque remains unchanged in both models. It was hard to gauge what impact, if any, the new output means for driving the compact SUV. The hybrids we drove were exceedingly familiar, offering a good ride and handling balance and enough grunt for daily driving. Steering remained direct and brakes felt natural. The refreshed Tucson is by no means sporty and is still probably not as quick as rivals, but as before it does seem ideally suited for a more prosaic existence. Hybrids gained driver-adjustable levels of regenerative braking this year, which could mean improved efficiency. A slew of driver assists is standard, too, features that aren't offered on the CRV or RAV4 base models, like blind spot monitoring, automatic high beams, and adaptive cruise control. Among those features is the new forward attention warning driver attention monitor. Updated trim walk pricing. Prices mostly go up for the 2025 Tucson compared to last year's models. Its destination charge increases $20 to $1,395, and the SE FWD and AWD gas base models start $875 higher than they did for 2024 at $29,750 and $31,250. Combustion SEL prices go up $585, and Hyundai adds a new SEL convenience trim to the gas lineup above SEL and below XRT. It comes with LED taillights, HTEC's upholstery, the bigger gauge cluster screen, a power sunroof, and more. SEL convenience and XRT models cost the same. $34,060 for the FWD and $35,560 for the AWD. Curiously, XRTs start $1,640 less than they did last year. Not surprisingly, limited top models of each powertrain increase the most in MSRP. Tucson limited gas models go up $1,555 to $39,690 for the FWD and to $41,190 for the AWD. Tucson hybrid limited models start at $42,340, an increase of $1,250. This year's biggest jump in price goes to the Tucson plug-in hybrid, which comes with a $48,485 sticker, $1,660 more than last year's version. Combustion-only models are already on sale, with the hybrid versions landing at dealerships before the end of summer. The 2025 Hyundai Tucson offers a range of powertrains that cater to different performance preferences. Here's an overview of its performance options. Gasoline engine. The base Tucson is powered by a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine that produces around 187 horsepower and 178 lbft of torque. This engine is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission and offers smooth acceleration, making it a solid choice for daily driving. Front-wheel drive is standard, while all-wheel drive is available for those seeking better traction. Tucson Hybrid The hybrid variant features a 1.6-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine paired with an electric motor, 